Hi all, welcome to another refurbishment video. This is a Dell Optiplex 7020, very small form factor PC as you could probably see when I put my hand on the case. So looking at the front, it's got a DVD rewriter drive. It's got two USB 3 in fact I think no these are actually four USB 3 ports now usually USB 3 ports are marked in blue the internal plastic part is in blue but these have an indicator that uh, the USB 3 in white just before just above each port it's got headphone microphone socket so moving the case round to the back it's got more USB ports. It's got a VGA port for video output. And it's got mouse and keyboard sockets. And it's got also headphone and microphone ports. That's the power supply there. So moving around the side. And to get inside this case put it on its side and there's a single flap that you lift up and pull it away like that now looking inside the case it's a pretty tight fit for all these components so we've got the CD drive there the hard drive is under this uh, that's the power supply that's the uh, CPU fan and cooler and the CPU is below this plastic shroud here there's the motherboard um, it's actually got a couple of expansion ports PCIe uh, for the graphics card and there's a smaller, smaller slot which I want to put a wireless card in that um, and it's got 8 gig of RAM, 1600 megahertz, two sticks of 4 gig. Now the current spec is an Intel i5-4590, which is socket 1150. And the plan is to actually swap that processor out for a i3 because I've got another build that's got the i3 in it but that's a, in a slightly bigger case and I think it will be, benefit better from a more powerful processor so I'll put the i3 in here clean things up but it's not too dusty and put in a low profile graphics card which I've got here it's a AMD R5340X with 2 gig of VRAM and it shouldn't tax that system's power supply too much. The, what I'll do as well is I'll install a fresh copy of Windows onto a solid state drive, which I've got ready, and then run a few benchmarks, and that will be in the next video. And I'll also replace the CMOS battery, which I do anyway with all my builds. Now, apart from the CPU fan and the power supply fan, there's also a very small fan uh, in, intake fan on the front, just to give it a better extra cooling. That's quite quite tight in this case. Right. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll do another video on this build quite soon.